Hello, sweet, vibrant, sexy, beautiful souls. I am your creatrix, Chalice. Being as this is my first video so far, and we are on my bed, if I move too much, things get bouncy. Um, playing with the lighting, I'm playing with a few different things here, so bear with me. We're learning together, we're exploring together, and that is the actual purpose of this channel and the series that we're going to be embarking in together. It's to expand and explore together. I am very excited and a little bit nervous to begin this project um, because it's opening up a lot of who I am, opening up a lot of myself, things that I didn't own or even look at for a long time. And I want to do the same for you because it's absolutely liberating and freeing to discover and embrace and love those parts of ourselves. So you may or may not know the difference between fucking, just having sex, or making love and having sex when there's real connection and chemistry and presence. It's a lot different than just engaging in the physical action. That's one thing, but there is so much more to sexuality and sen sensuality than that. A lot of us have had a taste of that and end up reaching for that again because it's one of the most beautiful, delicious experiences that we can have in human form, I believe. So what if I told you that it's possible to find that place more frequently and maybe even exist in that place for longer periods of time, longer and longer periods of time? And what if I told you that getting to know yourself and explore yourself and embrace yourself, and I'm talking sexually, your kinks or fetishes, who you are, what you like, what you don't like. What if that exploration would lead you to a richer and more fulfilling life? Not only sex life, but life in general. Would you believe me? And who am I to tell you these things? I'd probably be asking the same thing. And honestly, I am just a lady exploring that for myself and opening myself up and taking a look at what I've got and what is it that I like and what turns me on and what lights me up and how do I experience more of that and is there something in the way of me experiencing that level of pleasure and satisfaction and joy and if there is can I remove that obstacle? Can I just get rid of that so that I can tap into that pleasure? So that I can tap into that joy? So that I can experience that richness in life? I believe so. I know so because I've been doing that. That's been my work in the past few years. And that kind of takes me to who am I? I am Chalice. I and in this work and exploring this line of work right now, sex work, because for a long time I had held myself back sexually. I had suppressed a lot of my sexuality, but in the long run it actually got me to focus in a place that ultimately can bring me more pleasure. And I want that for everyone. I want more of that for myself or for my own selfish reasons and I want some of that for you too. I woke up to my sexuality at a pretty young age. I think younger than a lot of people <laughs> realized. Um, my close friends knew and um, my parents found out at some point I think I was in elementary school actually still and um, really they found porn on the computer history 
And um, I got in trouble for that. And I held a lot of guilt and shame for that for a while. And I think that also led into a weird cycle that I had with the, the porn industry. And like anything, I can see pros and cons. Um, I will say though, that the mainstream porn industry um, has been damaging to sexuality. And I know that, um, again, it's a tool and it depends on how we use it. But for a while I used that to tell myself horrible things about myself. And later on in my uh, teenage years, early 20s, um, experienced some sexual traumas. And having that show up in my life really brought my focus to my sexuality because there was a lot of uncomfortability and shame and guilt and heavy emotions around sexuality. So because of that, I held a lot of my own pleasure at bay. And actually, I pushed almost anything sexual way, 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 way for me. And it wasn't until my early 20s that I realized that this was affecting me in my life, um, outside of my sex life. Obviously, it had affected my self-confidence, my self-worth, and honestly, uh, found it hard to orgasm and really experience pleasure. That sucks, being 20 years old and not being able to get to that place because there was so much stuff in the way. But it wasn't until I really started peeling back the layers that I got a closer glimpse at like who I really was and how my sexuality was trying to express itself. I had hidden and shamed my own sexuality for so long. I had hidden it from not only the world, but I had done a pretty good job at hiding it even from myself. However, most of the world saw straight past that. They saw straight past that and my innocent facade was very erotic to them. And I can understand why. I see and respect that now. At the time, it drove me crazy. A sexual being is still a sexual being. Um, and we all are, to some degree and extent, sexual beings. So wouldn't it make sense to work with that? Wouldn't it make sense to understand that part of ourselves? I would say so. And our culture doesn't exactly talk about sex. I mean, yes, we talk about sex, but only if it fits into this box. Um, or we're in a completely different environment with people who are happy talking about things that are a little bit more taboo or unacceptable. But even those terms, I'm not the hugest fan of because that's taking something natural and normal and putting it in the shadows and hiding it. Um, something to be explored. It's something that if it is explored and can express itself, can be used as a tool. It can bring us pleasure. It can bring us happiness. It can help us to connect with other people. Not to mention it's super hot, especially when you own that with confidence. Confidence is like, you know, just speaking for myself here, but that's like biggest turn on, one of the biggest turn ons. Okay, so as I started coming into my sexuality again, I started doing that through mostly non-physical ways because my, the traumas I had experienced, I had really stored on a body level. So sometimes touch was like, whew, I had to step back. That would almost make me pull away and disconnect. Um, but playing with sexual energy, especially on a mental, emotional, sensual, even spiritual level, big turn on for me. One point, if I make any point in this video that I really want to get across, it is that sex is not just physical. There is so much more than intercourse. So much more. And I'm not just talking about foreplay either. And by foreplay, I'm assuming <laughs> that you think physical foreplay. 
I'm talking let's just take the word foreplay out of this altogether there's more to sex than intercourse there's more to sex than the physical there are the mental aspects there are the spiritual aspects there are the emotional aspects sexuality the exchange of and dance of energy you've got that going outside of the bedroom I can guarantee that what you have going on inside of the bedroom is going to be pretty fucking hot that's when you have a good time okay many people are caught in the physical aspect of sex and that's okay I mean sex is okay the physical aspect of sex is okay it's actually great it's amazing and we're multifaceted beings so why not work with each facet, each level of our being, and get it all involved in this act. Some territories are still left uncharted, unexplored, and I think it's about time that we explore those. Let's map it out. Let's figure out what it is that we like, what it is that we don't like, what it is that we may be interested in. I don't know. Let's try it out. Let's figure it out. Let's do it together. I think it sounds fun. I'm having a good time. I, I want you to join me. It's a great adventure. It's a journey into ourselves and it's a journey into others. And the world that we create together when you're present with one person or multiple people, whatever tickles your pickle or empowers your flower. So yeah, I'm exploring myself and enjoying myself and embracing myself through learning who I am as a person in general but there's a strong focus right now on the sexual aspects and the sensual aspects and I invite you to join me I want you to know what you want I want you to tell me what you want I need to know what I want and I want to tell you what I want kind of a fun game and that's my passion. That's what I'm here for. And that is the purpose of my channel. So my mission is to kind of be your tour guide while exploring together, exploring this realm together. What you can kind of expect on my channel is we're going, I'm so sorry for the dogs barking. We're going to dive into some kinks and fetishes going to explore those. You can get a glimpse into the life of Creatrix Chalice. We'll have a play space for sexy story times for your listening and viewing pleasure. And you might even have the opportunity to submit your own stories for me to read to you. So if all of that and then some interests you, please stay tuned. Subscribe like this video and please come join me again soon.